Say hey guys, it's Klaus. Welcome to another episode of My Epic Kill. Actually, your Epic Kills, the series where I show your moment flash of brilliance. That's right. You know, not all of us have epic games. You can't keep it up for 15 minutes. Well, I can. But not all of you can keep it up for 15 minutes, if you know what I mean. <laughs> for the whole game. For the whole duration. Yeah, so, you know, it's hard. It's hard. Oh, wait a minute. If it's hard, you could keep it up. I... Everything's going to shit already. What's this series about? It's about your epic kill. It's about sending me your epic kills. And all you have to do is load them on wtreplays.com and then email me that link, right? And uh, put in the title of the email, my epic kill and the time when the kill happens. And we're going to watch, I don't even know this guy's name. I don't know if you can read it, but he's going to show us how to kill a Swedish tank without shooting them. You just mount them from the top and crush him while you shoot the guy beside him. <laughs> that was epic. And it doesn't matter that you're stuck there for the rest of the game and your teammates don't help you. That's all you needed to do to be epic. Seriously, he's stuck there now. He's gonna be there for the rest of the game. GG. Let's watch the crow here in his Death Star. And uh, while we watch him get his epic kill, let's discuss something important about this game. Did you know that there was once a tank that had a fairly strong turret and when that tank got hauled down, it was actually very difficult to penetrate from the front. <gasps> Are you kidding? A tier 10 tank, super heavy, that when it got hauled down was tough to penetrate. I mean, it had weak sides and a weak rear, but a, a fairly strong turret. Do you believe that, that there was a tank in this game that had a strong turret that was difficult to penetrate from the front? Well, this caused chaos in the Eastern Bloc countries. It was like inconceivable that there would be an American tank, the T-125, that a super heavy tier 10, that when it got hauled down, was difficult to penetrate from the front. Like, can you believe it? That something like that snuck through into this game? Well, that tank was nerfed. And you know, things were put back into the right order. There's another tank, there's a Russian tank that has a strong turret, uh, the IS-7. Uh, much stronger than the T-110, and it's really good. When it gets hauled down, it's impenetrable, basically. And it has strong uh, side armor, and even stronger ass armor at times. And that, you know, that caused a stir as well among the Eastern Bloc. So that tank was buffed, you know, because it was a little bit too slow. So they made it faster, like a medium tank, and they gave the gun the soft stats equivalent to the leopard just to balance this game out because hey you know uh, it was ridiculous to even consider having a, a non-russian tank have a strong turret that would be difficult to penetrate from the front so the crow here in his death star oh what is that that's an is7 let's shoot the turret of an is7 oh ho, ho, ho! 400 and some damage or 500 damage uh, the death star that can do 2,000 damage in one shot. Rolls for 500 on the Russian heavy tank that's been buffed. Okay, who else can he shoot? Oh, look, a T-125. Yeah, that one used to be uh, good when it was hauled down. It's been nerfed. Let's see, just a sliver of his turret showing. Let's see what happens. What happens on the American one? Oh, we got him! Well, that's a good thing that one was nerfed. Balance! Balance has returned to the game. Yeah, it's a good thing that things were rebalanced that way to make those American tanks weak from the front. And when you've got a tier 10 tank destroyer like the Death Star, you don't expect to roll for much more than 500 on an IS-7 if you hit the turret. But what if you have a Russian TD? What if you have an ISU-152, like all up in your sheet here? Well, that's only a tier 8 tank destroyer, so, you know, come on. It's not a Death Star. It's, it's, it's a tier 8 tank destroyer. What's it going to do if it hits an IS-7 turret? Well, let's watch. Oh! Oh, uh, we got him! It's, uh, balance! It's all about balance, I tell ya! Uh, balance and skill! Don't forget the skill! Uh, there's, there's skill involved there somewhere! Now, I'm not going to be able to show you very many artillery clips in this series, because as you know, artillery's been nerfed. And Tough Cookies here has found this out the hard way. 
he realizes that. So you got to make every shot count with artillery these days. So every now and then you line up a shot there and you pull the trigger and you get two of them for the price of one. Two for one sale. Buy one kill and get one free. But you didn't come here to watch RNG. You don't care about artillery and you know, those clickers that just click and the Russian number generator takes care of the rest. You want to see skill, skill, like Gid Gideon and Gideon. What? How the hell do you say his name? From the MAWG, the Mog Clan. Shout out to you guys. He's going to use his skill in his Lorraine 40T to get his epic kill. And he spots another Lorraine down at the bottom of the cliff. But that does not stop him. If he can drive around this little piece of whatever it is that's blocking him, he's going to go for this epic kill. He knows how to do it like a billy goat. All he has to do is pounce, pounce on his enemy and take him out. Look at that. The old reverse butt ram in the face. Epic kill. Yeah. yeah I'd rather watch a jump off the clip. Old reverse butt ram in the face. Epic kill over a clicker any day. And speaking of butt ramming. <laughs> let's watch TTK79 from the AIRO clan. Shout out to you guys. And he is having an epic game. But look, at the, look at the stats up there. He's having a pretty good game. But we don't need to watch the whole game. Because we just want to see the butt ramming action. Is he going to do a little bit of butt ramming? Let's, let's check it out here. You don't have to always shoot a guy to kill him. Well, you can shoot him up the ass just to get him looped and ready. And then rather than waste ammunition, just push him into the water. Why not? Why not? Save some ammo. And then just ignore him while your teammates, you know, look down there and try and kill him. He's going to drown. Let's just watch. Look at all the teammates scurrying there. Enemy armor is destroyed. Now this next clip is sent in by me. Me, in the Scorpion. Yeah, that wasn't too epic. I mean, what did I do? T 12 damage there? Yeah, I want to be on this series. So wh I'm going to get an epic kill here. I'm going to shoot a light tank. A light tank with my Scorpion. Oh, that one bounced. Okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I can do this. You know, every now and then I'm epic. I'm going to get another shot at this uh, light tank here. Get in this epic. You guys, you know, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Uh, okay, okay, one more shot. I'll get the epic kill here. This is going to be the most epic of the video. Here we go. In the side of a Russian light tank. Here we go. Oh, for crying out loud. I'll just ram the little cockroach. All right, this is this is it. This is my epic kill. Hey, you kill-stealing artillery prick. I don't know I'm trying to get on my own series here. Well, what can I tell you guys? I've sucked all week. If I actually had an epic kill to, to include here, I would include it. But, you know, I think my problem was... I, I aimed and I could see my enemy and he was right beside me and that that was my downfall and as you're going to see here trigger uh, Ajosi in his own knee who also sucks and has been having a, a terrible week he knows that you don't necessarily have to see your enemy and he doesn't have to necessarily be beside you sometimes you can just uh, point the gun up in the air right uh, use your 14 second uh, aim time and your 23 second uh, reload time and just at the end of the game, go for it and get yourself an epic kill. GG. You know what? That was just all RNG. You know, uh, I missed RNG. That guy hit RNG. What happens if you actually introduce some skill into this? Like uh, all up in your sheet from the Scrub Clan. Shout out to you guys. He's driving this WZ11114, whatever the hell. And this guy knows what he's doing. Look at him. He, he's actually shooting enemies and, and he knows what to do. And there's going to be no RNG in this one. Just pure skill. Here comes his epic kill. When you got a guy that rushes you and mounts you, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do when you're in this situation? You just flip him over. That's what you do. You give him the old flip and then you ignore him. Because that's how physics works. If you were educated, you know that... Physics is important, and that type of stuff happens all the time, and that's why the game has incorporated this advanced physics model uh, for realism, uh, so to speak. And uh, look at this, all up in your sheet knows that he can just ignore the guy now and concentrate on the live enemies, because this upside down flipped uh, pancake guy is no threat. Oh wait, look, his teammate stole the kill! His teammate stole the kill! You know, all up in your sheets, I'll give you that one. That was an epic kill in my books. Well, let's watch Taxalian from the Brig Clan in his T82 HMC. Shout out to you guys in the Brig Clan. And he's in a clicking arty sky cancer tank. 
But it's always nice to see these things running away from the enemy. Look at all those enemies chasing him. He's out of his element unless he's clicking from the other side of the map. Right? And there's some guys going to rush in here and try and kill him. But you know what? Every now and then... Oh! oh, oh. Uh, is, is he going to die? Is, the guy that rushed in must be a little stunned right about now. And how long does it take to get unstunned? You know how long it takes? <laughs> too long! It takes too long to get unstunned. Yeah, you guys, you know what I've realized? That it takes too long for me to make these videos. I tell you, I didn't know what I was getting into. I gotta watch so many clips and put them together. This is a lot of freaking work, I tell you. So to show your support, at least leave a comment. Well, like the video if you like it, but leave a comment. And, and and let us know who you think actually had the most epic killer. Now let's watch this guy. It's Permadank from the Gunzo clan. <laughs> Holy shit. The guy thought he was safe. Yeah, safe my ass. I tell you guys, really, I've created a monster with this series. I mean, I guess it's because you don't have to be great the whole game. And uh, th that's hard to do. But all of us can be great just for a few seconds. Right? Like Crazy Kale here in his Lorraine artillery. Who's not playing artillery like an artillery? He's playing it like an epic kill machine. Yeah, seriously, guys, it really helps the channel if you leave comments and if you like the video. So show your appreciation to all these guys who are sharing their epic kills. Like Jay Ripper here from the Vets clan in his Object 704 who, uh, you know, can't hit shit with his gun. And his mistake really has been that he's been aiming carefully and he's always careful to repair his gun when it's damaged. So, you know, why not just try it with a damaged gun? Why not just see how that works? Yeah, that's better. Like I said, guys, leave it in the comments because I'm showing you so many clips that I cannot put a voting button in the video. You can only put five choices in when you use a voting button on YouTube. So I'm showing you way more than five clips. So you guys leave it in the comments who you thought had the most epic kill today. And let's watch Vizier87 from the HEIM clan. Shout out to you guys. And he's learning that at the beginning of an encounter game in a pathetically small stupid map when everyone has view range all the way across is a little bit hard. But he's in a Death Star and he knows, well, you know, if all these guys are going to shoot me, they can shoot me 7, 8, 9, 10, 14 times. They can shoot me all day because as long as they're not Russian, all I need is one shot in return. Oh, look, a tortoise. Doesn't he look important? <laughs> they're knocked out! That's what happens! And the rest of your game is going to be shit, uh, Vizier. But hey, that was epic. Yeah, have you had enough? Yeah, that's enough, isn't it? You guys know what this is all about now, right? You don't have to be great all game. You don't have to have a Unicom game. You just have to have a few seconds, the flash of brilliance. And you know what? This Tough Cookies guy, he keeps sending me these. He plays artillery all the time. I'm so sick of the artillery sky cancer thing. And this is the last one I'm showing of, of Tough Cookies here. And you know why I'm showing it? Because he's not going to use his gun. He's been shit all game. He can't hit anything. He's always too little too late. So come on. Why don't you just try driving this like a regular tank and finish this off? And, and let's finish off this video until the next one. Come on, tough cookies. Can you do it without the sky cancer clicking? Huh? Huh? Can you do it? Can you get, can you get at least one kill this game? Can you do something entertaining? Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. He's going to do the, the jump on top ram with the arty. Uh, I've showed a lot of clips and I'm pretty tired now. I think I'll go home.